Want to race? Uh, well, come on. But I don't have a chance against her. <laughs> Can you believe they added a Disney Plus series to the Cars franchise? Cars on the Road has officially pulled into Disney Plus. And as you can imagine, we've found plenty of Easter eggs in this newest addition to the beloved franchise. Let's get into it. Definitely. Number one, Mad Max Fury Road was a 2015 action film that was most certainly not made for children. Cars on the Road, like the rest of the Cars franchise, is definitely kid-friendly. So it's pretty surprising that not only does Cars on the Road have some Mad Max Easter eggs, Wait, what? It's actually based a lot on the famous film. Get it? On the road, Fury Road. There are cars that are definitely inspired by the film. The Chief Tess, in particular, is definitely Mad Max inspired. But the references don't stop there. Whoa! It's clear to see that these cranes set up with drums are definitely a nod to the big apparatus they played music on to go into battle in Mad Max. While kids watching this series aren't likely to catch the Mad Max vibes, the adults won't be able to miss it. Number two. That doesn't mean that there are no references for kids, though. How old do you think I am? It wouldn't be a Pixar movie without plenty of nods to previous Pixar projects. In this series, there's a subtle reference to one of Pixar's recent hits, the 2020 movie Soul. For fans of the film, you may have recognized when this scene made a nod to the great beyond. Number three. Turns out that there's even a carified Stonehenge in the Cars universe. You can see that there's a Stonehenge-like structure. But since it's the world of cars, the stones that it's made of are entirely in the shape of cars, of course. Number four. If you're a Pixar fan, you probably already know that the famous Pizza Planet truck appears in each and every Pixar movie. Yes, the delivery truck for Pizza Planet aka the pizza place from Toy Story, is known for making cameos and even appeared as an actual character in the Cars movie. So it's really no surprise that we see this famous truck in this series as well. Number five. Like the Stonehenge, er, Car Henge, there are plenty of real world things that are modified for the Cars universe, but it seems that Cars on the Road actually takes place in a real life location. Yes, this series, at least in part, takes place in Death Valley. And this dry desert setting gives the cars plenty of room to roam and drive freely. Number six. It's a bird. It's a plane. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Mater. In a less subtle and far less complex moment, there's a cloud in the sky and the shape of none other than Mater. What do you know about flying? Everything. Number seven. If cars in the Cars universe are personified cars, then the dinosaurs in the Cars universe must be dinofied cars, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. To add to the list of questions that absolutely never would have occurred to us is, did car dinosaurs exist before the cars in Cars existed? Well, according to multiple references in this series, the answer is apparently yes. This series shows that in the history of the Cars universe, there were, in fact, car dinosaurs. And now that we've established that, it's probably safe to say that there was a history-making asteroid that was also shaped like a car. Number eight. Cars fans certainly remember Flo's Cafe from Cars 3. Well, it makes a very important comeback in this series as well. We get a chance to see all of our favorite old cars from movies past gathered around there in this iconic spot. It's good to be home, everybody. Number nine. While the 1997 animated classic Anastasia is neither Disney nor Pixar, it seems to have made a major appearance in this series. This scene shows ghost cars that emerge from the paintings that are hung on the walls of the haunted mansion and proceed to ballroom dance. Every 90s kid watching this surely has a flashback to that once upon a December scene from Anastasia, where it just so happens that ghosts also emerge from paintings on the wall and did some ballroom dancing. That's just a bit too close to be a coincidence. Uh, what? I think you heard me. Number 10. The cars at Circus Velocitas give a whole new meaning to the term clown cars. Instead of cars that clowns drive, these clown cars are actually cars who look like clowns. Each clown car looks like one of the cars we know and love from the previous Cars films, but now they have a full face of clown makeup. Number 11. Disney's Haunted Mansion ride is probably one of the Disney Park's most famous attractions. Fans of the Disney Parks almost certainly noticed that the Haunted Mansion in Cars on the Road is actually modeled pretty closely after that very ride. That eerie green, foggy feeling is very similar. 
Number 12. There's another Carsified Disney Parks attraction to be found in this series. Just to look at it, you'd probably be surprised to find out that the world's largest lug nut here is actually a real-life sculpture. This is actually modeled after a real-life attraction at Disneyland Paris. Number 13. Fiats were a feature in Cars 2 that we all remember. There's a red Fiat in this series, and when we see it, we just can't help but think of the cars of the Cars franchise past. Number 14. Do you remember Cars Tunes? Cars Tunes was another Cars franchise TV series, but this one was composed of various Cars short films. If you didn't happen to be a fan of Cars Tunes, you were probably reminded of it when Mater's suit explodes. It's very reminiscent of when Air Mater breaks the sound barrier. Number 15. Did you spot this sticker that says Texas Tea? Well, this is a play on the nickname for crude oil paired with the idea of oil being a drink for cars that actually, well, drink. Ah, oh, this explains it. We can just imagine the cars all sitting down to a Texas tea party and sipping on crude oil together. Yeah, <laughs> how ridiculous would that be? Number 16. Let's be real. If given the option, who among us wouldn't vote for Mater? Well, in this scene, he's ready to be the next president. Yet the real presidential seal has, of course, been modified for the Cars universe. Unlike the real one, this one is made up of car parts. Maybe we should make this the official presidential seal. <laughs> That's cute. We all love cars after all. Number 17. Lightning McQueen is no stranger to getting a fresh new coat of paint or a new design. You look different. And we can see that his hood now says on the road. Of course, this is a very apt costume change for the series, which, as we know, is called Cars on the Road. They can't get anything past us. It's like the Sistine Chapel on wheels. Number 18. If bugs were this cute in real life, it would eradicate the use of fly swatters. You probably remember these Cars bugs from the original Cars movie. Well, another car bug makes an appearance of flying around Mater. Number 19. In another welcome reference to the Cars tunes in the car short Heavy Metal Mater, Mater performs at a truck stop. And in Cars on the Road, he seems to make a return to the same truck stop. Here's hoping we're in for another Mater performance. Oh, you sure you can handle it? Number 20. Did this zombie car with his brain coming out of his head remind you of someone else? Wait a minute. We think it looks a lot like the automotive version of a certain evil monkey. The Powerpuff Girls villain, Mojo Jojo, also has his brain emerging from his head. Who would have expected to see anything related to the Powerpuff Girls in the Cars universe? Did you spot all those Easter eggs? Were there any hidden references that you noticed that we left out? We want to know all about them. Tell us what you caught in the comments. And if you love videos like this, remember to subscribe to The Things Animated for all the latest news on your animated favorites.